Malcolm Turnbull, thanks for your time tonight. Good evening, Brian. It's always a pleasure to be with you. Now, you seem to be under attack for being a potential threat to the leadership of your own party. Brian, I love the ABC. Nobody could love the ABC more than I do. I don't love everything about it, but I accept, Brian, its broad remit, and I think it's an important opinion, and perhaps the important opinion, in the cultural fabric of Australian broadcasting. But, Brian, I'm not going to come in here and engage in speculation about this country's leadership. In that case, just let me ask you, have you been set up? Set up in what way? Well, let's say part of your party believes the earth is round. Well, that's not entirely hypothetical, Brian. Really? No, 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 there are four of us. And let's say there's widespread dismay about the direction of the Abbott government. Well, Brian, can I say if there is, and can I say this on record, if there is, I'm not aware of it. In the electorate? Oh, in the electorate. Oh, in the electorate. I think there's a fair lack of gruntle out there, yeah. And let's just say that, the, that you are the focus of that support and there's been an attempt by the flat earthers in your party to ditch you. Yeah, Brian, I don't want to engage in gossip. This is a point I've already made. I mean, what else do you want to talk about? Well, that's what I wanted to talk oh. about, Malcolm Turnbull. The polls are terrible. You have the... Your party of the most unpopular government in history, people would vote for you. Yeah, interesting theory, Brian. Are you going oh, to the races on Saturday? The what? Are you going to the races on Saturday? I've got a mate got a horse running in race two. Oh, really? What, yeah. What? What's race it called? two. Yeah. It's called uh, preemptive strike. Preemptive strike. Is it any good? Not really. No, it's getting a lot of publicity, but I'd be back in the stable, mate. Uh, budget shambles. No, the next one. Uh, solemn promise? No, that's been scratched, hasn't it? Solemn oh, it promise has been too, scratched. It says here. Yeah, I yeah, think sorry. It's out, yeah. Joe's pride. No, Joe's pride was taken out this morning by the vet, Brian. Oh, yeah, it says it here. Swelling in the off Swelling foreleg. Swelling in the off yeah. foreleg. Can't move. What do you think of independent speaker? Well, it depends on the postillion in that case. Who's riding it? Oh, uh, C. Pine. Oh, probably better value elsewhere, Brian. Mm -hmm. I mean, gets a bit overexcited. Who does? They both do, Brian. They were together this morning. They kicked the stall down. Is that right? Yep. Now, do you like Billy Boy in the first leg of the double? I don't well, no, Billy not Boy. much, not much. I don't, I don't think... He's had some form lately. Not in town he hasn't, Brian, not in the big smoke. I mean, he hasn't had a Group 1 win. That's true. What about Double Dis? Double Dis, well, have a look at the barrier draw. Well, Drawn very, very wide. wide. Very, this, very yeah, wide yeah, yeah. draw, yeah. So you got a roughie in... Well, Brian, I've got a roughie in race six. Uh, I quite like Byers oh, Remorse. Byers Remorse. That yeah. could go. He's done well in the track work, Looks beautifully yeah. in the track work, yeah. And in yeah, race yeah. eight, Brian, wake me when it's over. Wake me when it's over. Never heard of it. Well, it'd be at unbackable odds, Brian, but if you're going to get out, you might as well have a bet. It's good to get out, isn't it? It is, yeah. I prefer it when we're in, Brian, but we can't get the GPS to work at the moment. 